In the previous video we have completed our player AI. Now our player AI can kill enemies and can be killed by the enemies. As you can see he is running towards the enemies. What we will do is to add the muzzle spark to our player AI and then to our enemies. So if we click on our enemy here is the sorry the player AI script okay not enemy let's open the script up and write down below this animator reference let's create a public particle system and this will be basically a reference to the muzzle spark okay so now we have the rest reference let's get down to the shoot enemy function right here above this raycast hit let's create or actually let's call this mother spark and then dot play and this will basically play the mother spark whenever our player AI shoots the enemy let's save the script and get back to unity now let's expand the player AI body and in the Tommy gun mesh let's add our mother spark so just drag and drop it in there as you can see click on it and then click on this unpack completely and then click on player AI let's drag and drop the mother spark effect right there okay and now whenever the player AI shoots the enemy it will play that mother spark effect okay now let's quickly add this to our enemies as well so if we open up this enemies right here we have the script open up the script and write down below as we did for the player AI we will first of all add a reference like that and then in the shoot function let's copy that from there and then right here in the shoot let's paste it that's it let's save the script now and now let's open up this enemy game object then body group and then hips spine chest arm and then right arm right forearm right hand let's focus on it here is the weapon holder and now inside this weapon holder we will try and drop the sorry the mother spark right there let's click on that and that completely where is it I can't see the effect it is actually right here we don't want it to be so what we will do is to simply add this inside this rifle and then let's copy the transform of the front side so copy component and then let's actually click on this and back completely and then paste component values now there it is let's try and drop it to that point Okay, there it is. And now let's make the start size of it as 100. Let's actually resize it again. And if you see right there, there is another spark. Let's make this start size 1. Okay, and it looks good like that. Okay, let's close this. Now let's open up the second enemy root and then in spine, chest, right shoulder, right arm right forearm then right hand let's now double click on it there is the weapon holder and there is the 
rifle let's try and drop this in there and then click on three thousand tag completely maybe start size one and as you can see the middle spark is right there i don't know why for what reason so we will copy the transform of the front side so copy component let's paste the component values there it is there is the mother spark let's try and drop it to that point okay and as you can see it looks good Okay, so we have added it to our second enemy. Now let's open up the third one. So spine, chest, right shoulder, right arm, right forearm, and then right hand. Let's focus upon the hand, work on holder. Now inside the machine gun, drag and drop the mother spark. Prefab, unpack completely, make this start size 1. And after that, copy the transform of the first base. So, where is it? Copy component, click on muzzle spark, and paste the component. Okay, there it is. I just put the muzzle spark right there, and that's it, as you can see. After the third one, let's do it for the fourth one. So spine, chest, right shoulder, right arm, right forearm, and then right hand. We have this weapon holder. Inside the weapon, let's drag and drop. Prefab, unpack completely, make the start size 1. Then copy the component of this front side copy component and then paste component values there it is let's try and drop it to that point and there is the mother spark for this enemy as well so we have added it for all of the four enemies let me actually open this one up okay there it is so now let's select the first enemy and drag and drop the middle spark right there then the second enemy drag and drop this okay right there then after the second let's open up the third one and drag and drop that in there then the fourth one so drag and drop that right there that's it now let's save the game in plate now we will notice that whenever the enemy fire at us as you can see it plays the mother spark but as you can see right there okay they are playing the mother spark effect and now with this added let's end this video right here